Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. Aquarius energy feels the most misunderstood out of all the zodiac signs. I say feel the most misunderstood because first of all, Aquarius is the opposition of Leo and the sun sits in Leo. So that leaves the Aquarian side of the zodiac wheel in complete darkness. So being in complete darkness, it's like, think about it. It's like you look over there and your sibling is gaining all the attention and no one sees anything that you do or cares about nothing that you do or what's going on with you. So because of that, I find that a lot of the times, a lot of Aquariuses have picked up be, um, ways of being that they don't even realize that they do in the sense that they realize that the only time that they'll get recognition is when they're ill you know, or when they are doing good deeds and being humanitarians. I'm not saying that they do good deeds just for the attention, but as children, you know, wherever you have this energy in your chart, you realize that basically you're always in the shadow. And because you're in the shadow, you're misunderstood. And people acknowledge you mainly when you're not well. So a lot of Aquarians that I'll, I'll know is like, they don't realize it, but it's almost like they get excited when they're sick or they're hurt because this is the time they know they deserve attention because maybe based on, you know, how they see the world and see things, they might feel like, okay, you know, when I'm sick, I get attention. So this is the best time to get it. Like, this is not the energy that just demands attention for the sake of demanding attention. Aquarians make the best humanitarians because they are helping from a place of personal experience. Whatever uh, humanitarian endeavor that an Aquarian decides to champion and move forward with in life is because they know what it's like to be this person. Basically, they are their target audience and they don't even realize it. The suffering that they're trying to, you know, bring awareness to or a problem that they're trying to heal is something that deep down inside they have felt wounded with. And this is where the motivation comes from to bringing attention towards this thing. So with the sun being in Leo and leaving Aquarian side in total darkness, this causes Aquarius to basically have a, it's almost like an oxymoron type of situation going on because Aquarius energy is not used to the light because all of the light is with Leo. So, but deep down this energy wants attention because the light is our, is represents the ego, our identification with something. We all want to, when it comes to our human forms, we all want to identify with something and others in this physical realm. So deep down, the Aquarian energy wants the attention, but when it does get the attention, it feels super uncomfortable and out of place because it is so used to not having the attention. And when it comes to the Aquarian's way of just detaching, so again, with the whole light being in Leo and Aquarian energy being in the dark, Aquarians tend to feel overlooked. Wherever the Aquarian's energy is in your chart, you feel like a rebel and that you are overlooked and you are pretty detached in this aspect of your life. And the detachment comes from feeling ignored. It's like, feeling ignored and overlooked to the point where you learn to cope with it by detaching from everything. So if I am not attached to anyone or anything, then I don't have to feel rejected by them. 
And it's crazy because I have Aquarius energy in my sixth house. And I remember when I moved to Florida and I was building a clientele in this certain salon and everyone in there was like a bunch of high school kids where it's like they were petty and mean. And I remember in my mind thinking, I'm so happy that they act like this because I, I have a reason not to speak to them because my Aquarian energy is so used to detaching because it's so used to feeling overlooked to where it's comfortable being in a situation where it's being ignored, even though, like I mentioned, this energy does want to be seen but at the same time, it's accustomed to being okay with being ignored. And the reason why I say this energy does want to be seen because this is where the whole rebellion comes in. You know, as a child, I used to rebel. Because I have Aquarius in the sixth house, for me personally, sixth house energy is how we approach everything, not just our work routine or our work life. It's just overall approach to everything. And my approach to everything is a bit unorthodox and untraditional. And my approach to everything is in a way that is detached because I personally feel overlooked as a child and know what it feels like to like basically be rejected. So I'll detach so I don't have to be hurt because, you know, basically just naturally take on the approach of just not attaching to anything. Because if I'm not attached and when something is taken away, it doesn't hurt me. And if I'm not attached, basically, if I'm not acknowledged, that's okay. Because sometimes, like with Aquarian energy, you'll Aquarians will meet someone and upon first meeting, everything will go so great. Have a good time, chit chat. And then they'll find themselves hiding from the person the next day or avoiding the person as much as possible. Because the because being so used to being attached the idea of attachment feels like a burden it feels overwhelming because with this attachment comes responsibility so that plays a big part in why aquarians like to stay detached because attachment comes responsibility and to be responsible means to respond to something and Aquarian energy sometimes, basically after everything it's been through due to the way it perceives life, it doesn't feel like it has the energy to respond. You know, because in order to respond, then one will have to go into an emotional place within itself and this energy just doesn't want to go there. Another thing too with Aquarian energy is because this energy dwells in the dark, because the sun is in Leo, I find that a lot of the things that happen in our reality that is unorthodox, that is unacceptable, that tends to go underground has to do with Aquarian energy. Because basically it's like, you know, because something isn't traditional or acceptable, we'll demonize these certain aspects of ourselves, certain things that we do and look at it as, you know, something that others, because we know others won't accept it, we demonize it and look at it as devilish and project negative energy into it. I feel, I look at, when I, when I say that, I think about how at one point, you know, like being gay or lesbian was something that was demonized. I feel like that's something that falls under the whole Aquarian energy, something that there wasn't any light shed upon it. And because light wasn't shed upon it, it was unorthodox, untraditional, and then demonized. So anything that you can think of that is untraditional will fall into the Aquarian energy. And naturally, because of how we know the people around us think and how society is set up, we will demonize ourselves and negatively project into a thing or into ourselves. So strong Aquarian energy within our placements will cause us to feel like the world sees us in a way that the world often doesn't see us in that way. We are projecting that energy onto ourselves because we are taught like with Aquarian energy, for, first of all, is ruled by Saturn and Uranus. Uranus is the part of Aquarian energy that is unorthodox, untraditional, rebellious, wants to do its own thing according to its own terms. And then the other side is Saturn. Saturn has to do with, you know, father figure, 
karma and time. And to me, karma is something that we create according to what we were taught. So the Saturn side is the responsible side of Aquarian that feels the need to be responsible for people who don't understand it or people who aren't even supportive in the first place. It is also the Saturn energy where Aquarian demonizes itself because Saturn is almost is the part of us where we're saying this isn't this is wrong and this should be punished. This is right and this is rewarded. This behavior brings us to hell and this behavior brings us to heaven. So within Aquarian is that voice, that Saturn voice saying what's wrong and what's right, that father figure voice saying what's wrong and what's right. And then Uranus saying, fuck them. So, you know, understanding that duality that's happen happening within us, it's important for us to basically not allow the Saturn energy to have so much power and realize that basically all the beliefs that we have were given to us. It is what we know that is important. And as humans, collectively, all of us on this planet cannot come together and agree upon who we are and where we came from. So for that alone, we have no clue who we are or where we came from. And the truth of who we are and where we came from can only come from within us. So this is why it is important for us to not demonize ourselves according to society's social norms and what society says is and isn't, what should be and what shouldn't be. And that plays a big part too with Aquarius's need to basically detach and associate itself with different groups because Aquarian energy cannot doesn't feel safe with being completely transparent about all aspects of itself because it knows that you know this group can handle this bite size that group can handle that bite size and that group can handle that bite size of me so that plays a big part too with why aquarian is associated with so many different groups that's it's splitting up all aspects of itself you know that could that associates with these different groups knowing that one group cannot handle all that it has to offer you guys i could go on so much more so longer with this energy because i really love this energy because i really feel strongly connected to this energy because you know with it in my sixth house i feel like i approach everything with this sense of rebellion like you know, I'm normally late to trends because I rebel at first. And by the time I get hip to it, it's old. You know, I have to remind myself sometimes like, you know, am I rebelling because I disagree or am I rebelling because it is natural for me to rebel? Because sometimes the rebelling nature of Aquarian energy can hold us back from things and could be a downfall because sometimes we could be rebelling from things that are for our greatest good. But overall, I love the rebellious nature because innovation comes from rebelling. You know, in order for us to create something that has never been created, we have to rebel from the old ways of doing things. You guys, I'm going to end it here because I could keep going. If you are still here with me, I would love to hear that. Please let me know by dropping me a purple heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.